A top British official condemned Saturday's arrest of the UK ambassador to Iran during anti-government protests in Tehran, calling the detainment a flagrant violation of international law. Rob McCare, who has been Britain's envoy to the Islamic Republic since March 2018, was arrested as he stopped at a barber shop for a haircut after attending a vigil for the victims of a Ukrainian jetliner that crashed in Tehran last week, the BBC reported. McCare left the vigil after it became a demonstration but was later accused by Iranian authorities of helping to incite the anti-government protest, The Independent of Britain reported. Trump tweets support of Iranian anti-government protesters after Ukrainian passenger plane shot down he was released after three hours but the arrest infuriated the British government. The arrest of our ambassador in Tehran without grounds our explanation as a flagrant violation of international law, British Foreign Secretary Dominic Robb said in a statement. The Iranian government is at a crossroads moment. It can continue its march towards pariah status with all the political and economic isolation that entails, or take steps to de-escalate tensions and engage in a diplomatic path forwards. A photo of Makare was posted on Twitter by the Atamid newspaper of Iran after his arrest was reported by the Tasnim news agency, according to the BBC. Tasnim tweeted that Makare was detained for organizing suspicious movements and protests in front of Amir Kabir University but released after hours. The tweet added that Makare would be summoned by the foreign ministry tomorrow morning. Rob Makare has been Britain's ambassador to Iran since March 2018. Twitter. In a Twitter message, U.S. State Department spokeswoman Morgan Ortegas called Makare's arrest a violation of the Vienna Convention, which she said the Iranian regime has a notorious history of violating. We call on the regime to formally apologize to the UK for violating his rights and to respect the rights of all diplomats, Ortegas wrote. Saturday's anti-government protests in Tehran followed Iran's admission Friday that its military had, unintentionally, showed down a Ukrainian passenger jet last week, killing all 176 people on board.